Alright guys, I can't tell you how hype I am for this game, except by probably telling you a quick tiny little story before we get started, so bear with me. When I was a kid, one of my favorite games, period, playing the Nintendo 64 was actually Pokemon Snap. The original, the original one with, what's his name, Todd Snap or something like that, I can't remember his name exactly, but... That game, I had a ton of fun just going around, taking pictures of Pokemon, just living their lives in any given moment, going over to the stars and, you know, taking pictures of Mew and stuff like that, man. It was absolutely wonderful. It was such a wonderful experience. And I'm glad that Pokemon is finally starting to change direction in some of the titles that they're making. It turned out to be somewhat of the same formula for Pokemon for the longest time and it just got kind of stale. If you guys can see here, I, I do play Pokemon, uh, Let's Go Pikachu and stuff like that. I have Let's Go Eevee as well. Haven't played that though, but I haven't really played Pokemon in a very, very long time other than that. And truth be told, I'm a Gen 1-er and that's where my heart truly is. However, I have always liked and enjoyed Pokemon thoroughly. So I'm pretty excited to get into this. Anyways, however, I will say this, there's a great, enormous chance that I won't know 99% of these Pokemon in this game because these are not Gen 1s, at least for the most part. I mean, I can see Pichu and I can see Dotrio, but I don't know anyone else on this, on the, on the little screen right here. If you're wondering why I'm starting from the home screen though, it's because the game I noticed goes straight into gameplay. I've already started, selected my character and everything like that. My name is Gamer, of course, go figure, right? So, yeah, there's that. As soon as we go in, we're going to be starting the game. So, enough yapping from me, guys. If you're excited for this Let's Play, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So, with that being said, let's jump right into this. Oh, man, I'm so excited. Laboratory of Ecolo uh, Ecological and Natural something. I can't rem I didn't read it fast enough. Oops. New Pokemon Snap. This game looks fantastic. Hey, Pikachu, Eevee. That's me. I have no idea what this is. It's a cool little dog type Pokemon though. Greetings. Professor Mirror. Hi there, I'm glad you made it. Thank you, I'm glad to be here. Welcome to the to the Laboratory of Ecology and Natural Sciences, or LENS for short. That's a very fitting name considering this is Pokemon Snap. Oh, look how cute. Look at Eevee in the background. Oh, that is adorable. Oh my god. Okay. I love her eyes. They're so, so pretty. Okay, but anyways, my name is Mir. Yep, I figured. I'm researching Pokemon and their natural, uh, and their natural environment here on Floral Island. <laughs> I'm so hyped. Yeah, and there, uh, and that's not all. Professor's gonna study every single island here in the Lentil region. No one's ever gonna, uh, no one's ever done an ecological survey like this before. It's gonna be amazing. No one? Are you forgetting a certain explorer? Oops, good point. You've read, oh, that book? Jumping up there kind of startled me for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, you've read the stories of Captain Vince, haven't you? Nope. What? But even counting him, Professor, your survey is going to be the first of its kind in a hundred years. That's awesome. Thank you. Well, thanks. This is Rita. Her parents are good friends of mine. She's here on vacation while her school's on a break. Jeez. I'm not just here... To goof off, Professor. I'm your research assistant. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, that's right. And I appreciate the help. Anyway. Now, 
Before we go over what you'll be doing in this program, why don't we step into the lab to get settled in? Yeah. Right, you are, Professor. I'll lead the way. Oh, she's so pretty, man. I really love her design. No. Oh, that's a cool gaming setup he has in the background. Look at that gaming chair. <laughs> All right, allow me to explain. The Lentil region is absolutely teeming with Pokemon. Oh my god, dude, I'm so hyped. I can't wait to take take pictures. Photographing those Pokemon help uh, helps us learn more about them and their ecosystem. And that's exactly why you're here to do, or what you're here to do. At night, you might even get to see those glowing Pokemon. They're really pretty. All right. Now, without further ado, here's your research camera. That's a pretty cool looking camera. <laughs> I've got to say one. We can use them to communicate with each other and the rest of the team too. That's right. It's more than just a camera. It lets you keep an eye, uh, uh, keep in touch and analyze data on the fly. Yep. It'll also serve as a sort of ID badge for you here. So take good care of it. I will. Awesome. Amerigamer. Yep, that's me. What do you think? I... I think a lot, actually, Rita. It's awesome, right? Absolutely. The professor invented it. Did he now? Can I explain how to use it, professor? Anyway. Sure thing, Rita. Assist away. I'll go take care of some other preparations. Yeah. Alright, come on. Let's go outside. Professor Mir. <laughs> that's, a, that's a weird name. Let me see. Tutorials are based on default button layouts. Let's see. Ah, perfect timing. Oh, she read it for me, but okay. What is that? Is that the... That's the Viv... Viv... Vivili? Yeah, Viv, Viv, Okay, yeah. See, I, I had... I knew this one. Wait. Uh... Okay, so I couldn't move anything. I just took a random picture. Oh, okay, we'll do. Uh huh. Good to know. We'll do. Okay, we'll do. Thank you. Ah, oh, snap! Hey, no, come back here. I want to take a picture of you. Okay, well, I want to see- Oh, look! Hey, those are the things- Those are the things from, uh, the previous game. Oh, it's a Pikachu! Oh, I will. Okay. P, P, P. Uh-huh. Good to know. Ah, makes sense. Nice. Pikachu's a little far away. It looks kind of small, huh? A little bit. Times like this call for zooming in. Oh snap. Just call it the Z. Pun intended. You'll stay zoomed in until you let go. Okay. Try snapping a photo of Pikachu looking nice and big. Good to know. Oh, such a wonderful pic. Oh, I can't move it. I can't move it around. I wanted to adjust a little bit. It did. Okay, so that's probably the biggest clue on how they're going to be judging. Whole body smack dab in the middle. Looking big. So big and in the middle. Thank you. Good to know. Good to know. Hey, professor, you covered the basics. Hey, what's up, Professor Mir? How was that? I hope you're getting the hang of your research camera. Anyway. 
Now then, I'll evaluate the photos you took. First of all, would you mind choosing one of uh, one shot of each Pokemon you photographed? I only got one, right? I'll rate them using my special scoring system. Pick whichever shots uh, you think are the best. I think the only one that was good was that last Pikachu one. Try selecting the Pikachu folder. Okay. That one's not so good. This one is probably better. Try selecting the Vivillian folder. That's literally the only option I have and it's absolutely horrendous. But okay, I'll, t I'll take it. I don't have much of an option. Press the plus or select uh, Show Professor when you're ready. Okay, let's show him our horrible pictures. Starting with photo number one. Pikachu. He looks angry. A new discovery. <clears throat> oh, it's Pikachu. This is the first time you've gotten it as your sub uh, subject. Oh, here goes nothing. <clears throat> I came up with the system to help us understand and categorize how Pokemon behave. Photos of Pokemon in an ordinary state get fewer stars. More unusual behavior means more stars. Simple enough, right? To be clear, the number of stars a photo receives doesn't affect its score. Every category is important. By the way, the camera keeps logs of what uh, was happening when you took each uh, when you took each photo. The data that data helps me categorize your photos. Good to know. Let's move on to the scoring. First, I'll evaluate the subject's pose. Snapping your photo at just the right moment is key to getting a high pose score. Now, on to the other factors. I got 500 on that. And one star. I'm not sure if that's good. But anyways, uh, size is straightforward. The larger your subject uh, Pokemon appears in the photo, the better. Then there's the direction the Pokemon is facing. Try to get it facing you in the photos. Next is placement. Try to get the Pokemon in the center of the frame for a nice balanced photo. And finally, you'll get bonus points if other Pokemon are in the photo with your subject Pokemon. Now, I know that was a lot of info at once. Not really, it was actually kind of simple. Big picture, or big in frame, center in the frame, Preferably the Pokemon looking at you and you get bonus points if the Pokemon if there's more Pokemon in The frame, okay good to know. Let me boil it down. Remember this and you'll do fine Get the Pokemon nice and big in the center of the frame then snap the shutter With all that in mind. Here's your evaluation Man, I was one point shy of 3,000 Looking good. Hard to believe you're a beginner. I kind of I kind of couldn't move it. to be fair. I couldn't do anything. It just kind of defaulted and I it that was the only way I could have taken <laughs> taken the picture. Good. So now Vivillian, this is going to be a horrendous picture cuz first of all, it's not center and B, it's not even looking at us and C, it's not really that big. Next is Vivillian, or Vivillan. I don't know how to pronounce that, guys. A new addition to our research. Nice work. I see it in flight. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. I I disagree. Almost a thousand points less than my Pikachu picture. It's okay. It's understandable. Remember, getting the whole Pokemon in frame. Looking nice and big is key to a good size score. Good to know. Take me out already. I want to go exploring. How was it? What do you think? I think a lot, actually. I kind of want to get out there and start snapping some Pokemon. Once you get your photos evaluated, 
you could use them to fill out your very own Pokemon photo decks. That will be a great milestone uh, to work for uh, toward. That's about that about does it. I don't know why I could not read that sentence for some reason. Uh, that about does it. I think it's time to set off on your adventure. Yes, that's exactly what I want to do. Now that that should be that should that should about do it. See, uh, this pod. I'll ki Hey, yeah, we're finally gonna get our little automobile. Uh, see this pod? It'll carry you on your photography expeditions. It's called the Neo One. It's the best. It can teleport to far off places in no time flat. Here's the thing. I finally put the finished touches on it not uh, long ago with a little help from someone I know. You see, it makes use of the energy hotspots scattered throughout the lentil region. Come on, professor. The details can wait. Fair enough. Let's get you moving. Climb on in and touch your camera on uh, to the console. Hey, there we go. Thank you. I will, Professor. Thank you. Oh, dude, I'm so hyped. So I heard that there's, for each section of the game, you have three, I guess, chances to go through it. So I'm probably going to go through them, and hopefully I get one at night time, because supposedly you can play at night too. Ooh, look, it's a no trio. It's kind of far though. I'll take a picture. He's relaxing. Eh, that was a very- Oh, it's a Pichu! Aww. Oh, I wanted to take a nice picture of it. Come on, this, it's only a matter of time, right? Till we get some really cool Pokemon. You know what, I should probably take a picture- Oh, this guy's- Oh, that's a horrible picture, come on! Oh, that one's actually not that bad. Uh, those are horrible. That's a horrible picture. I don't like it. Ooh, what is it? Ooh! Hey, come here, buddy. I scared him off, I think. This game, I will say this, looks gorgeous. No, look, come here. Don't go behind the grass. And he's not even looking at me. That's... Whoa, another Pokemon literally tried to cut me off there. Ooh, this one's literally just chilling. That probably won't get good. Ooh, I want to take a picture of that. I'm going to take one for now, but I'm pretty sure they're going to fly away. When Whoa. That one's gorgeous. Look at that. <laughs> it's a Magikarp. This one's looking right at me. There we go. That one's nice. Anything else in the horizon? Ooh. Oh man. There goes that Pichu. Are those the same guys from the beginning? I saw them running off. Come on, you. Oh, he turned around. Oh, Pichu. Ooh, that one's nice. Tell me this game is not gorgeous. Ooh, that one's nice. Look at him. He's happy living his life. No one's bothering him or nothing. Oh. Oh, that's a horrible picture, but I love that they're flying. Oh, that's so sick, dude. Hey, look, it's this guy. It's a hoot hoot. Oh, it's, a, it's daytime, so he's sleeping. That's awesome. Hey, look. Oh, that was a cute picture. He's literally with his eyes closed just... Minding his little business. Oh, if this guy can turn around. 
that would be great. Oh, look, this guy's chilling. Tailo? It's a weird name. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get... Three different runs at a time. I have no idea what this thing is or if it's even looking at me. Hey, did it just wave at me? Who's this guy? Floor... Floor... Grease? Floor... Just... I... Oh, floor just kind of makes sense because it's gorgeous. Maybe. Oh, that's such a great picture. Oh man. I wanted more. Give me more. Welcome back. So I photographed 11 Pokemon, 26 photos taken. Welcome back. I hope you had a good time in the floral nature park. Anyway. Now just like before, it's time to show me some photos you took. Now go ahead and choose one uh, one photo per Pokemon. This is going to be the hard part, I think. So Dotrio... See, I like this one, but why does it look all pixelated? I like this one, but it doesn't look as big as, say, this one. So I think I would probably get more points for this one so I'm gonna go ahead and try that one did I get a better pavilion probably this one it said one per Pokemon so I'm going for it YOLO that one's cool but I really like this one okay which one would probably be the best one I like that one it's not very centered but this one's probably the prettiest one tail low Probably, probably this one. Although this one's not bad either. <laughs> I'm gonna go for this one just because there's more Pokemon in this frame. All right, we're going left to right. So Swana, that one's really nice. Um, I'm gonna go for this one. I only have one, so... Yay! Little Pichu. I love that little guy. Florges. These are so good. This one's probably better. Okay. Well, let's try it. Come on. Give me nine trillion points. Alright. Uh, Alright, let's have a look. Dotrio. This one's actually probably a... The best picture. A new addition to our research. Perfect timing. So, pose 943. Size, okay. 4,356. That's gotta be my best one. Dotrio is excellent. So, before I had 2016. Nice now... Oh, it's definitely going to be a lot better. 3,622. Nice. That's a new record. And I'm sure I could get it a lot better. Which would you like to keep? Yeah, the new photo for sure. It's definitely better than the previous one. Okay, so... I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. Okay, maybe I will. It's a... Bofalant? Bof... Bof... Bofalant? Sure. Alright, it's my only picture, so it's probably not going to be very good. 2,378? Eh, I know I could do better. Bidoof. A new discovery. I don't even know that's how you pronounce it, but that's how I'm pronouncing it. Perfect timing. Okay, so this is not going to be bad. 3,473, nice. Uh, Wormble. Wormple. 
I really like this picture. Nice work. Hope he likes it just as much. 3,577. Okay. Taylo. This one's nice because it's... They're just chilling, minding their own business. Nice work. And the verdict is... Eh, average, I guess. Swana. This one's beautiful. This is this one's gorgeous. Nice work. And the verdict is... Wow, this one was just a few... Uh, like, four, uh, 51 points shy of... 4,000. That one's good. Magikarp, this is gonna be absolutely terrible. A new discovery. Nice work. It's too far and too small. 2,170? Oh, it's probably because it's in the middle of doing something. Pichu, this one's gonna be a nice with points, I think. Okay, let's see. 4,000. Nice. That one was really nice. Comfy. This one's not gonna be that great. Oh, well, actually, I take it back. It's not, it's not too bad. Probably because it's... I don't know. There's a lot of good reasons for it. This one's going to be perfect. This one's probably going to be my highest scoring. Great timing. I hope it's my best scoring. Wow, three stars. Three diamond stars, I guess. 4,336. That's definitely my highest ranking. So what do you think, what? Professor? So, what do you think? I just asked you that. Anyway. One last thing. Let me tell you about the research levels. Your research level on a course tells you how much progress you've made there. Once that level goes up, you may see Pokemon behave in ways you haven't seen before. The key to raising uh, your research level is to observe all types of Pokemon's behaviors. That means getting photographs of them in every category from 1 star to 4 stars. So in short, fill up that Pokedex, keep that in mind, and you'll do you'll be on the right track. So get out there and snap lots of photos and cherish the encounters with Pokemon you have along the way. Our research is uh, our research in this spot is just getting started. I'm sure you're more than up to the task. I am. Ooh, loot box. <laughs> uh, your research floral nature park. Uh, you research floral nature park for the first time. Photo program newbie. How rude. Smack dab in the middle. You got a score of 1,000 points for more or more in placement category during the photo evaluation. Uh... Save to photo album, I guess? After your research uh, trips, you can choose photos to save to your album, which is your space in the lab. You can also choose resnap to make some changes to photos before you save them. Okay, well, one thing's for sure. I want... I guess I'll save that one. Okay, and where's that one? Uh, Florges one. Yeah, that one. I'm definitely saving that one. Other than that, I think I could get better pictures from... From going back out. So, return to camp. So, I hear that you can go to each location three times and it changes every time you go there. Like, I guess Pokemon start to like you better or something. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't done any research or nothing about this game, so I'm literally going through this blind. Now then. That covers just about everything. Hey, so Can we go on a nighttime photo shoot later? 
Yes, please. Not yet, but soon. After a little more practice. Rude. Uh, by the way, don't forget you can come back to the lab and take a photo. Uh, take a look at your po uh, your photo decks anytime. I'll explain more about that when you stop by the lab. Anyway. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. Have a good time and snap some photos. What was her name again? Rita and Professor Mir? Uh, research. I want to go back out to that same place. I want to get better pictures. Are you headed out to another expedition already? No. Uh, yeah. Before you go, let me tell you one more thing. Uh, one more thing you can do with your research camera. You can run a scan. What does that even mean? I'll give you the details about your surroundings. I'll tell you about. Uh, it'll tell you about near by Pokemon and points out anything unusual. Professor, what counts as unusual? You've never given me a solid answer. Basically, anything that makes the system go, check this out. <laughs> well, I guess that's all the details we're gonna get. Yeah, we kinda need more than that, but okay, sure, why not? I'll get the hang of it once, oh, you'll get the hang of it once you try it out. Rita, would you mind de demonstrating? Leave it to me, Professor. All right, get that camera ready. Yes, tutorials are based off of button layouts. Got it. Wow, that's that's complicated. Try it out. Sure. You saw that Pokemon's name pop up, right? Uh huh. I uh, did, as a matter of fact. Okay. Oops. Okay, over the question mark. I did. Good to know. Okay, so the Neo One, this vehicle is essential for your Pokemon research. Yep, figured as much. Uh, yeah, kind of. Wait, what icon at the bottom of my screen? Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, good to know. That's actually really good to know. I'm glad. Will do. What did you forget? Uh huh. Okay. The professor calls it an accidental say cheese feature. Accidental say cheese feature. Anyway, that ought to cover everything. Okay, good to know. Professor. Hey, Professor. Explanations are all done. Thank you. Thanks, Rita. Don't hesitate to run a scan. It'll tell you a lot about your surroundings. All right, so are we going back out again? It's gonna make me choose it again. So lab or research. I wanna go back to the same location. First of all. Uh, Flora Nature Park. In this lush green park, uh, see Pokemon up close in their natural habitat. Okay, park, day. I wanna change it to night. I wish I could change it to night. Okay. So at least now we have the scan feature, so we're going to go through it this time and one more time. I'm going to try to go through every level three times just to see how the environments change and maybe f even if we find new Pokemon. Okay. No, don't do this to me. Ooh. Oh, that was adorable. That's why they ran away before. Okay, I'm not going to worry about Dotrio since I really, really thoroughly liked. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that's probably as good as it's going to get for them. They're a little far. Okay. 
I hope there is something I can scan. Did I scare him by scanning? Oh! Oh, that one's not very good, though. What is that thing? Look over here. What am I scanning? Right there. What are, what are you? Okay. Dude, another one. That one is actually not bad. This way. What are you? A crystal okay, that grows on Floral Island. What was that thing that was up top? I missed it again. I totally forgot to go back and look. All right. Oh, these are probably better to take a picture of. Whoops, wrong button. Oh no, I ruined my opportunity. Oh yeah, then there was the flying ones too. I'm gonna try to keep an eye on them. Okay, those are not very good. I should have taken it from a, a non-zoomed in way. All right, here goes. That wasn't very good either. That's unfortunate. Magikarp, jump! He's not gonna jump, he hates me. That one's not bad, actually. Ooh! Oh, <laughs> they're bothering the Doe Trio. That's funny. Nice. Where is it? Uh, oh, right there. Hoot Hoot has an unusual way of sleeping, always on one foot. You don't say. He only has one foot. Oh, that one was actually perfect. No! That was actually not too bad. I almost missed it, though. Alright. So we're back here again. I don't think I'm going to snap any more pictures of these guys. Because I kind of like what we did before. Although that one just took a pic... Uh, that one just said hi to me. Let me see if I could get a better picture of this guy, Florges. Waving at me. Come here. That is a nice picture, man. I really, really thoroughly like that one. Ah. Okay, I think we're done here. Nice. Welcome back. Photos taken. Okay, got it. All right, let's go to the review. We're going to sip through this as much as possible. Neither one of these are fantastic, I don't think. All right, I'm still going to choose one of each just in case. That's actually a new P Pokemon. Um, I guess that one. I don't even know what this is. What is this? Ebola? Okay, that's his name. Swana. I think this one's probably going to be the best one, I think. Given what I have. Oh, man, this is cool, though. I'm going to try this. Just out of curiosity, that one's a really pretty photo. And that about does it. Let's see the scores. Okay. So my previous best is 3662. And now it's not better. Uh, I'll keep the existing. It's uh, almost identical to the old other pictures, just inverted or backwards. So whatever I get for this is a plus because I've never taken a picture of Groki. Grookey? I'm not sure. 
That's not a bad score, honestly. I'll take it. Pichu. My... I thought I've taken a picture of Pichu before. Okay, that's... That's nice. Great timing. I think anything would be better for this. Ooh, it is. Yes, keep the new picture. Alrighty. T time for Ebola. This is probably... Ebola is going to be the worst because he's not even looking at me. 2,500? All right. Maybe I can get a better one in the next time around. Nice work. Uh, yeah, new score. It's def. I like the old one better. I do like the old one a lot better, but the new one got a new score. And I think... That's probably going to help me out a lot more. All right. This is the moment of truth. I do like the original photo better. Although this one might get points because there's more than one Pokemon in here. Surprising, it didn't. I'm definitely keeping the old one. Nah, that's not that good. Okay, this one should definitely be an improvement. Oh man, that one's really good actually. Nice. Comfy. Great timing. Uh, that's actually not bad either. Nice. Florges. Uh, I have a feeling that my old one is still going to be better. Oh, I'm wrong. I'm very wrong. I am very wrong, and I'm... All right. I'll take it. Uh, so I'm level two. What does that mean? What happens when you level up? All right. I bet Pokemon in the area are getting comfortable with you. Oh, so they go up for every level. You got a score of 1,000, okay, got it. Together with friends. By the way, thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased. Do I want to save these photos? I'm not sure if I want to save them. Uh, I'll save that one. I think that's all I'm going to save. Okay. Return to camp. So now that... I guess I kind of misunderstood then. So I thought it was every time you visit the park, everything changes as long as it's three times. But I think it's three times that you level up. So going in there right now should potentially level up my place. Hello. Or the, the place, I mean. Your photography seems to be going well. Anyway. I think you're about ready for a nighttime visit to the Flora Nature Park. Yes. Hopefully, you'll get to see one of the Lentil region's, uh, Lentil's greatest wonders. A glow called the Illumina Phenomenon. Speaking of you're one of uh, the one, you're the one who discovered how the glow happens. Uh, right, Professor? Yes, I am. But explaining the process is scientific. Uh, the sci the process scientifically was just one step uh, toward my ultimate goal. Finding the special Pokemon spoken, the special Pokemon spoken of in the legends of Lentil. You mean the Illumina Pokemon? I thought they were made up. No. No, they're very much real. You've seen the photo from Captain Vince's travel log, haven't you? <clears throat> nope, I haven't. You can barely tell what's in those photos. And they're ancient anyways, literally a hundred years old. Literally? Damn. Well, we can discuss that later. For now, enjoy your nighttime outing. Oh, I will. 
I definitely will. So now that it's leveled up, I definitely want to check it out at night. Ooh, yes. What wonders will we find this time around? Like the Hoot Hoot, we should be able to see the Hoot Hoot at night. Uh, oh, I mean, uh, yeah, at night, awake. I'm guessing, of course, right? I'm not gonna lie. The colors in this is gorgeous. Ooh, what is this thing? That one's not a bad picture, actually. <gasps> These guys are so much closer. This guy has food in his mouth. Except I want to take a picture of these guys. That's not a bad picture. I like it, actually. Ooh. That thing is really pretty, man. I really like that little bunny. Let me see if I can... Oh, what is this? Is this the evolved form of Tangela? That's a horrible one. Alright. That's good enough for him. Look at all these... Oh, Caterpie! That one's not bad. You, look at me. No, you're not supposed to... You're not supposed to run! That makes me sad. Oh wait, what's this? Turn around. Didn't I already scan this? Pretty sure I did. Whoa. Oh. I gotta... I gotta learn the buttons a little better. <laughs> Look at him. He's glowing. That one is so perfect. That last one is gonna get me a lot of points. Oh, <gasps> Pidgeot! Look over here, buddy. Come here. Look over here, buddy. Pidgeot. Pidgeot. I'm talking to you. Got him. Okay, I'll take it. Anything else in the area? Oh my god. I love it. I think that first one was probably the best one though. There's something walking around. Oh my god, they're asleep! Oh my god, I love it! That last one's that last one was great. Okay, what else are we gonna see around here? Oh! I totally forgot about the Hoot Hoot. I finally got him though. Oh, there's another one over here. Oh, Pinsir! Oh, he's not gonna turn. I wish I knew he was here. I would have taken a picture of him. This Hoot Hoot is perfect. There you go, buddy. Ooh, nice. Comb. Co what are these? Yeah, Combi. I, I know about this guy. Oh, there's a ton of them. Alright, what, what is that? Oh, there's, this one's awake. Hold up. Where is it? Right there. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. I already know about that. Little Combi. Turn around. Oh my god, that's adorable. I managed to snap one. Dude, it's crazy how much it changes from day to night. I'm excited. So we've got a lot to discuss, but first, let's get your photos evaluated. Okay, score bunny. Honestly, the one where... Oh, this one. It's got to be this one, right? This one's great. Don't get me wrong. But this one, him being asleep, has to be 
the best one. And this one probably because there's a second one in the background. I kind of like this one the best. Caterpie. That one. Uh. It has to be this one, man. It has to be. Oh, this one's so perfect. Dude, I should be a photographer in real life. I really should. I'm a master. See, this one would be my choice. But this one would probably get more points. I'm guessing, though. That's a terrible picture. It's not very well done. This one's probably going to be the best one. I'm going for this one, though. Oh, yeah, I didn't... I'm just going to choose it anyways, just in case it gets better pictures. So we're going to go through this quickly. Let's do this. That's a great picture. Nice work. All right. And the verdict is not so great. Actually, I take it back. It's really good. Very nice. Buffalant. And the verdict is, this should be better, period. Alright, so that's good. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Tangrowth. Looks like an evolved form of Tangela. 4,000, dude, that's so good. Caterpie! A new discovery. Nice work. Uh... Not the best, but not bad. This one's so, so cute. Alright, let me see here. That's, that's, that's amazing. I'm, I, I love it. That one's so adorable, man. I love it so much. I should have took a picture, though, of the, of the flying one. But this picture right here was just great. Look at that. It's a two-star diamond. Pidgeot, please give me a good one. A new discovery. Nice work. Oh, this is gonna get good points. Yep. Perfect. Dude, I took a lot of good pictures this time around. Nice work. Uh yeah, I didn't think it was gonna get better. I'll keep the old one. Hoot hoot. And the verdict is that's not that's actually not that bad. I think it would have probably gotten better if I uh numbers if I would have taken it from the from the tree where he was asleep before. Nice work. Okay. That's not it's not terrible. I could have gotten a closer one though. Is it gonna level up? Oh, so... Okay. Yeah, I get it. So, the park at night is different from the park in, in the daytime. So, if I go again to the daytime version, it'll probably give me more... Po uh, it'll look differently. That makes sense. You've got a profile icon. Nice. By the way... Thanks to the progress you've made in your research. I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are scored away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. I need to save all of my diamond ones. Uh, I really wanted to evaluate this one, man. This one is so good. So this one's definitely a save. That is a really pretty picture. Uh, this one right here is also equally as adorable. And you, my friend, you get a nice little cozy spot on my top. Photos. Oh, I can't forget about Pidgeot. Is that all of them? No. Tangle Growth. Tang Growth, or whatever his name was. Is that... That's gotta be all of them, right? What about Combi? No, that was just silver. Yeah, I think that's all of them. 
So let's go ahead and go back. Should be. Should be interesting to see where we're going next, though. Oh, what's this? Whoa, hmm, that's intriguing. Hey! Something incredible has happened. Yeah? Tell me about it. Here, take a look at this. What is it? Here's the thing. When you got near that field of flowers, I picked up an incredibly strong energy reading. Yeah, that's what she was saying. It sort of seemed to be moving uh, to if only slightly, which suggests what we've got here is an Illumin uh, Pokemon. We can't be sure yet, but I suspect so. I wonder why it showed up. Did you do anything special? I don't think so. I also doubt that it appeared when it did by chance. So I think you should be the one to investigate the area where that reading is coming from. What? Aw, I want to see too. You can go, or you can watch through the monitor with me, Rita. Please, head out as soon as you're ready. Oh, this should be definitely interesting. Alright, let's go. Let's go.